y'all so this is day one of this process this renovation process of our home um so the first thing is you guys can see the grass needs to be cut so Quan is about to cut the grass it is like so high um let me show you guys the back well i'm not going back there but as you guys can see the grass is super high compared to the neighbors so the first thing we're we'll gonna be doing is cutting the grass because this definitely looks like a den for snakes and we can't have that so we're definitely gonna take care of the outside we're going to i'm going to clean up some of this trash that's out here in the yard um these bikes and stuff that needs to go to the dump from my niece and nephews that my sister left and then some more trash and stuff that's on the outside of the house so that's what we're working on today this tree has grown so much eventually i feel like we're gonna have to get it cut down because it's almost about to touch the house right there but yeah so Juan is about to cut the grass and we have the three little ones with us today yeah i was about to say that. i'm gonna get a trash bag and help you clean out the yard um they are coming back for that um, as well. But we're going to get to that. This is going to be a process, like I said. But I just, I'm literally bringing you guys along for every piece of this journey with us because I want you guys to see it firsthand. Um, blinds will be, will have to get replaced. But yeah, so I'm going to clean up this yard, put some stuff off to the side um, to get out the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to get it. So. Let me help Quan, y'all, and I'll be back to chat in a minute. Well, we're gonna figure it out. No, Bo, come here. Stay right there. It's so thick. It's like wet cardboard. Damn. It's bad. Huh? Okay, yeah, this grass is extremely Mommy? tall. Mommy? This is a jungle back here, y'all. A, a literal jungle. Look at that. So, as I stated before, today's day one of the renovation on the house um there's a lot um that we have to do and i'm not even going to sugarcoat anything for you guys no boy, come here this is what it is um most of you guys know the backstory of the home i'm just not even going to get too much into that okay we're here now we're going to fix the house up and make it back into a livable space um i also didn't let you guys know one of the key things um so basically when my sister was here before she moved out the septic they didn't get the septic um tank pumped and so it built up and got backed up really bad and it basically flooded in the laundry room so we're trying to see how bad those repairs are but I didn't tell you guys also that when we originally moved from the apartment, moved into the next space that we had moved into, and then ended up having to move to Quan's mom's house, we literally stored all of our kids stuff in the basement, okay? Um, not just in the basement, but back there towards the laundry room, the room that's across from the laundry room. So unfortunately, when that it exploded or whatever happened me and my mom are going to go in there today and look and show you guys but whatever happened in the basement it ended up destroying everything that was over there in that area the fumes i'm sure are very toxic because it is septic and yeah so there's a lot that we have to do today um i'm actually waiting on my mom to come now like i said Juan is cutting the grass i'm just gonna be out here cleaning up the yard for what i could do now i'm also waiting on my sister to bring the key so that i can get a copy of the key made and eventually I'm going to change all the locks and that stuff too. But this is day one and I'm going to show you guys everything that I can show you guys. Okay. So stay tuned for this journey. I'm super excited. Like I said before about 
moving back into this home. Um, my heart has always had, this home has always had my heart. It was my childhood home and it just makes me happy that we even get the opportunity to get back in here and make it back a home, a livable space. Um, so yeah, you guys, um, I'm super excited. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are thinking. I didn't imagine this, us taking full circle and ever being able to come back to this house because originally my mom did want to put it on the market and sell it. But with everything that's going on um, with the housing market, and like I told you guys in my last video with our search just going to dead end, dead end every time because of Quan's background. Um, hold on, Quan needs me. Y'all, I'm already tell y'all right now. What? I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell y'all right now. I'm trying not to allow this process to frustrate you, girl. But this is gonna be a journey, literally, a journey. So my mom's on her way, like I told you guys, she still haven't got here yet. Um, my sister did leave the key in the mailbox. Um, just nothing I could have imagined walking in there. Mm -mm. There's nothing I could have imagined. And I just hope my mom when she sees it, she's not like too upset because this is gonna take some time to get this house back at home, making this house back at home. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna stick it out. It's gonna be a lot of money. I can already see it, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. And my kids are gonna have their own room. There's gonna be plenty of space. I'm not gonna have to stress anymore. I'm gonna be able to take a deep breath um mommy but yeah so mommy. waiting on my mom mommy. i don't even know if i want to show y'all for real for real like i just need to talk to my mom to even see if she's comfortable with me showing it the way it is in the state that it's in mommy, why we staying so yeah car? waiting on my mom to pull up and then i will chat with you guys so because all that grass i don't want y'all y'all can't go in the house maybe because of the smell of the toxins and I don't want y'all to get sick. And then out here, all of this grass flying and bugs and stuff. I don't want you guys to be itchy with mosquitoes. And plus it's hot. So I want y'all to have some okay, air. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Quan is still cutting the grass right now. Um, the backyard, like I said, was an entire jungle. The woods have started to come up the hill. Hey, be careful. No yelling. No, Noble. No, Noble. No, no. You can't. You can't, baby. No. We need this. What's the deal, mommy? No. Not nothing that you can play with. Sorry. You can't play with this, okay? Bye. But yeah. Bye. So once my mom pull up, y'all, I'll update y'all. But right now, your girl is just don't even know where to start, okay? I just don't even know where to start. And I also want to add this my channel is not a channel for y'all to feel comfortable to judge anybody, okay? So before, I'm gonna just go ahead and just stop it before it starts. This ain't that over here, okay? So take that on somebody else's channel to somebody else's, your own life. Cause over here we not doing none of that, okay? People go through shit, people go through things. So at the end of the day, Quan is trying to figure out who I'm talking to. At the end of the day, okay? Whether I do decide to show this to y'all or don't, don't go jump into conclusions because a lot of you guys, let me turn this down because I do gotta check some of y'all. A lot of you guys made your, came up with your own assumptions about the past situation and that's completely fine. When we put our lives out here on YouTube, that's what we sign up for. But at the end of the day, it's all assumptions, okay? Y'all don't really know what's really going on. Y'all gotta put together pieces because y'all don't know everything, okay? So yeah, basically this is a no judgment zone. We ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that over here. So yeah, posi vibes only or you will get blocked. And what I do love about this YouTube blocking app, when you block somebody, they just can't comment. So they can still watch, okay? But they can't comment, which I love. So act a fool if you want to in the comments and get blocked. Juan is doing so good with the yard. I'm so proud of him. I'm so excited to just be making it hours again. Like, I don't think y'all understand. My excitement is just like there, but I'm also just, I know there's going to be a lot of obstacles to finally get to the point where I'm decorating and buying stuff and doing the kids' rooms and stuff. But the main thing 
is gutting the house. This is the gutting process, okay? We're trying to get this house. No, 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 mommy. We're trying to get the house completely gutted out so that we can start fresh. <laughs> take the stuff to the dump, fix the yard, make it look livable, and bring it back to life. And I'm super excited, not only for us, but to be mommy, making my mom, my mom. Mommy. It's going to make my mom happy in the mommy, process, too. But mommy, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yes, baby. Can I no, can you stop, baby? Please can, stop. Can I, can I, I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all once my mom gets here. We're making progress with the yard. I feel like he's gonna have to go back over this, um, which I think he is. But it's looking a little better. He did go down there to the um, in the back and start on some of the back, and I think he got like half of the back done too. So, like I said, he is making progress. I'm so proud of him for doing this. I freaking love him so much. And I just love seeing him out here working in the yard. It's giving what it's supposed to give, okay? Not my mama pulling up in the bins. Don't play with her, cause she is not one of them. Okay. She is not one of them. Quan, she's a spider web. So are you ready for what you're about to see? Not as bad as I thought. Didn't okay. Here. Yeah, I didn't go up there. Oh, it's a spider web, too. Fucking where, Right there. <laughs> the fuck, She just walked right past it. Come on, Ed. Shit. Come on, back downstairs through the spider web. Oh, Lord. What is that? Okay. There's nothing in the hallway. So what was it thrown though? Okay, so it's not that not bad at all with the okay. Just definitely hauling. So far. This so is just far. like a ooze bugs. So freaking far. The fiction is fine, right? Go. Okay. What? Okay. All right. Sure, I ain't mad at you that much now. Not that much. She got a lot to get out though. Oh shit. What? What the happened? Why are I'm you doing all them side effects? Just, uh, this is for my own. <laughs> Yo. This is for my own self, man. So this is the progress that we've made. I can get a better look. It's not so bad here, y'all. Shut up, my breath. Mold wall has to come out, I'm sure. Very dangerous. This is horrible. This is disgusting. This is, this is just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Ooh. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to basically explain to you guys um what you just saw um in the last few clips because i didn't really clear it up i also want to say i did not share a lot of the house um with you guys i shared the things that were shareable without sharing too much but overall you guys get the picture that the house is destroyed and i know a lot of you guys are going to come and say well you and your sister have done this to your mom several times and all this stuff but like i said before you guys don't know the story the past story a hundred percent okay but we're gonna leave that in the past we are now moving forward we are now working towards new beginnings and that's what i really want to focus on so i'm saying all this to say 
when you were looking at the home basically that is how my sister left the home as you guys know if you follow my mom's channel you kind of got a backstory of my sister's situation um and i just want to say mental health is real okay people go through things things happen but at the end of the day this is real life okay this is what it is so like i said i shared with you guys as much as i possibly could share without sharing too much um and making my mama feel uncomfortable but like it's like you guys like i said a lot of my thing a lot of my sister's things i cannot talk a lot of my sister's things are still in the home and we are going to get all of that stuff out figure out what my sister wants to keep and what she doesn't want to keep and kind of help her through the process of actually going on um and letting the home go we're trying to get rid of a lot of trash like we plan on doing like a major trash hauling run and doing several trips Quan and i are going to put literally all the money that needs to be put into the house into the house to make it a home um unless my mom wants to do it but she is 100 percent she 100 percent does not have to add a dime into the home Quan and i are putting our funds into it to get everything fixed and back making it at home we are not rushing into the home we are going to make sure as far as the living conditions the mold that you guys seen um those walls are broken down those doors that need to be broken down windows six just all of those things the holes in the wall very cosmetic things but major things at the same time so like i said this is a journey we're literally trying to make this house livable and make it a home again um for my family and as i mentioned before i'm super excited about this process and i just can't wait to bring you guys along super excited about it just wanted to give you guys a little update on what you saw like i said this is a no judgment zone if you have anything negative to say you will be blocked okay and not only that y'all this is life everybody's not perfect people go through things and we're just trying to take it a day at a time thriving and surviving we love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video really really soon bye